And we're back again with two members from the social, uh, the social, the NASA social for the Laddie launch. We have Kim and Christian. Guys, we're so close to launch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm starting to get to that really uncontrollable stage, but uh, I'll try to keep things under control. Tell me, how has the experience been, starting with you, Kim, how's the experience been being part of this NASA social? This has been amazing. This is actually my second opportunity to be a part of NASA Social. I got to go to the last space shuttle launch, so I was at STS-135, and nice. I didn't think I was going to get picked for that. I certainly didn't <laughs> think lightning was going to strike twice, so this has been awesome. Um, I was standing there, and I was thinking the mood is, is so different. It, was such an emotional moment for STS-135, but it was kind of sad. Mm -hmm. And it was a little bit of, felt like an end. Mm -hmm. um, and the coolest thing about being here now is over the last couple of days realizing that we're not ending anything. Okay. That NASA is still doing amazing things and the future is still so bright. And that's probably what I'm gonna walk away from all of this experience with is just being so optimistic about the space program. I, I think that's a great point because one of the things that we've seen just working with the folks at Wallops and, and just all the interviews that we've done along the way have really uh, just been full of enthusiasm and people just Absolutely. excited to get back to the moon and do science and to answer some of these mysteries. So I, I couldn't agree more. and I'm, Hopefully we're going to be part of that uh, history here in uh, under 20 minutes or so. 20 minutes, uh, Cri amazing. Christian, how about you? Well, how has this experience been for you? Oh, it's just been absolutely wonderful, Blair. I, you know, I threw my hat in the ring when the uh, call came out to uh, participate in NASA Social. I couldn't believe I got selected. Uh, here I am. I've met some wonderful people, uh, such as Kimberly right here, and uh, some of the folks we had on just a few moments ago. And um, being a part of this, you know, just realizing that we're 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 going back to the moon. Yes. I mean, th there yeah. it is, in the distance, <laughs> it's crazy. about two miles away. We're going back to the moon tonight. Yeah. And, you know, as uh, Dr. Grumsfeld said, and just can't put it any more poetically than he did, we're continuing our exploration of the universe. I know a lot of people think the universe means the deep space, but the universe is right here as well. And yeah. we're point. going to be exploring a part of it that we really never even thought about doing mm. just a few short years ago. And now we're about to take that step back to the moon tonight. and. What an exciting opportunity it is to be a part of it. What a privilege it is to be a part of it. The, thi the, the greatest impression that I'm getting is the thousands, hundreds of thousands of man hours have gone into this, and it's all culminating tonight. And the enthusiasm is just contagious. Yeah, it's, it's so true. It's just a wonderful and, experience. And, and I think that's a great point because I think one of the things that we're also seeing is, we're, you know, we're kind of learning more about science. Someone like me sure. all of a sudden is thinking about the fact that the moon doesn't have a standard atmosphere. It's an exosphere oh. and that we don't understand how dust moves on the moon and how that might help us understand other bodies in the universe. And uh -huh. you're just sitting there going, I mean, I'm an English major. I'm like, what am I doing? I, I should be reading a novel, which is good, by the way. I know that's a great practice, but, sure. but also learning about our universe. It's very exciting. It's a wonderful universe to learn about. Absolutely. And uh, I was lucky enough to have studied astronomy uh, as an undergraduate, and I was very fortunate to work with the Hubble Space Telescope for a number of years. So seeing Dr. Gunsfeld, who fixed our telescope three times, is a real privilege. And, and you're right. It's, it's just an opportunity to continue to explore this, this amazing universe the, and the best part about it, all the work that went into it, is that this is all of humanity working at this. This is humanity at its best. Yeah, I really believe that. So that's awesome, and some certainly some great scientists and engineers and operators and all the support staff. All this is culminating tonight in this incredible event, which we're going to witness. But I tell you what, let's take a quick break. We're going to sure. bring on lunar scientist Lou Mayo, who's going to talk some more about the science. Uh, we'll go take a break real quick, come back with him, and we're going to let these social media folks go back to Twittering all the way up all the way up to the final moments where I'm sure you'll put your phones down and just soak in the moment of the Laddie launch. We'll take a break at that point for that <laughs> and then get right back Absolutely. to tweeting. Awesome. We'll be back shortly.